this point in the season, being the situation you guys are in, is going on the road to playing a big time game, what's supposed to be at this point to have this kind of game like that? Oh, I mean, we, uh, going into a game, um, Colorado is uh, a team with tremendous amount of heart, um, great players um, that make, you know, great plays. Um, you know, they utilize a bunch of guys. Um, like Coach said, I mean, utilizing guys out the backfield, um, got a good couple key receivers, quarterbacks, awesome. So, um, you know, to us uh, right now, it's, it's um, you know, that midpoint of the season where, you know, you get a refocus about yourself. Um, because you know it's time to turn it up. You know, uh, sitting here at five and one, and, and uh, you know that's something that Coach Graham has just been preaching. Just get a refocus about ourselves, a recommitment to doing those little things right. Because those little things are going to be, you know, you know, game time, you know, game time things where it, it's decided on win or losses. So um, that's what we did today. Um, so going forward, uh, we got a group of guys with tremendous heart ourselves in our, in our locker room. That go to battle, go to war, um, every 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 day, every every play. So um, we just refocusing up um, to to get those little things right, uh, so we can so we can come out of this thing victorious with a, a Pac-12 championship. You like to hit people. Oh yeah, I love to hit people. Why is that? <laughs> I love to hit people. I mean, that's just my nature. I, I mean, I don't know. It's 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 funny because I I I played quarterback in high school, and that's what I thought I wanted to do. But always, always that quarterback that that handed the ball out to my that running back and was downfield trying to block for him, trying to hit. Um, you know, that's that's what I like to do. I'm a hitter, um, but uh, you know, got to keep it under control sometimes. Um, you know, like I said, I, I uh, you know every, everybody knows I played spur in the past. Um, you know, got an opportunity at Bandit. Um, you know, a great opportunity. Coach Grant gave me uh, and played Bandit safety this past week. Um, just trying to retrain my, my focus um, to safety, 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 because, you know, you got to take on a different mentality at safety. You know, it's not always about getting those big hits that I like to do. It's just about getting it down. But but I do like to hit. What's the best part about hitting the guy? Oh, man. The, the best part about hitting the guy, I mean, see, I'm one of those guys who uh, don't really celebrate much. Um, I, I, think it's, uh, I, think it's, I think it's cool when, uh, you know, you hit a guy and you look at him, you don't say nothing to him, but he just knows that you just you just lit him up. He know he knows, and I know that you he just lit him up, and he knows that every time 31 is coming, I'm coming to light him up again. But I won't say nothing to him. I'm just looking, look at him for a few seconds, and just keep it moving on to the next play because I'm coming again. How was your time? You were injured uh, earlier on in your Sunday. How did that time get off the field? Did you appreciate and then make you work a little harder now? Oh, I mean that's 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 a great word to appreciate, um, because that's exactly what I did. Um, you know, you take for granted, um, you take for granted these this time here. Um, you know, a lot of I know a lot of people um, obviously have talked to me about their experience here at ASU prior to when I was getting here, and you know my freshman year when I was here. Um, but but one thing you one, one thing you do is you take for granted because there's a lot of people that that want to be in our shoes that want to be on the, you know that field out there, uh, and this is a great opportunity you have here. So you know when I was hurt, I took for granted that you know man I'm in I'm playing Division One football. You know I'm playing Division One football. This is a great opportunity. So I appreciated it a lot more when I got hurt, and uh, you know unfortunately it, it took that for me to do so, but. Um, I appreciated it, you know, a lot more because it, it was just that urgency to, to that want to get back onto the field again. Um, I just went to work. I refocused up, um, you know, tried to learn as much as I could my freshman year from guys like Darby, um, out in Darby back when he played Taylor Kelly. Um, I even uh, sat in, you know, rooms with Taylor Kelly just trying to learn um, how quarterbacks think and stuff. So, um, you know, when I was hurt, I, I, that's a little stuff that I did was just try to refocus up and, and fine tune some skills as far as, you know, the knowledge of the game, the intellect of the game. Um, but it's, it's definitely something that some, a lot of guys take for granted, but that's what I did. You talk about loving to hit, but also wanting to keep things under control. Exactly. When you got that targeting penalty earlier in the year, that first game back and all the games that followed, was it kind of like a different mindset, like because you had that targeting penalty, because it looks like you're hitting on Saturday just as hard as you were before. Oh, yeah, I mean, well, unfortunately, that was the first targeting we ever got here. So that sucks that I got the first one. But, but um, you know, I, I told myself, you know, and, and that, that's uh, Coach Graham actually 
uh, did an awesome job of, of uh, teaching me and coaching me up after I got the targeting. Because, you know, you, you might get a lot of coaches, you got the targeting and it's, it's, it's all negativity. But he actually coached me up and was positive and, and taught me, okay, well, you can still hit us hard. Just, you know, lower your hat, keep it to the side and, and, and you know, lower your, uh, your lower your pads and you can come right up through them. And, you know, I'm a big guy. I'm a big guy, big frame. And, uh, you know, I like to deliver a blow. But it didn't, it didn't you know, it, it was a deal where after I got the targeting, I didn't want to really change up how hard I hit or, or, or be, you know, kind of scared to go in because, you know, if you're scared to go in and make a tackle, I mean, nine times out of ten, you're going to miss. So I didn't, you know, change up how I didn't change up the, the mentality. I just changed up, you know, the technique of, of how I hit. And, um, you know, Coach Graham, you know, helped me out a lot through the way. How much experience do you have that made it safety? Uh, well, yeah, my freshman year here, uh, 2013, I, I came in playing free. Um, always kind of knew both. Um, you know, didn't really, you know, play a whole bunch of snaps. Obviously, I didn't play my freshman year, but um, I didn't really play a bunch of snaps at Bandit. I played a, a, a lot at uh, free my freshman year. But, um, you know, I, I've played Spur uh, for a while here at Arizona State. And um, Coach Graham has always told me, um, you know, always be able to to learn and be open and diverse to learn and, um, you know, the bandit safety spot. Uh, so it's always something that I've, you know, taken on and, and, and try to just, you know, learn that a little bit while playing Spur. And, uh, you know, he, he gave me an opportunity last week and it worked out. You guys played a lot of new quarterbacks this year, Josh Rose and last week. What stands out to you about Colorado's quarterback? Uh, I mean, he, uh, he, he, he puts the ball in the money. I mean, that's, that's one thing I was, we were watching, you know, watch the big play tape. Um, uh, of him last night actually, um, and he puts the ball the ball in the money. Uh, he does a real he does a real good job um, of utilizing running backs out the backfield. They do a real good job of doing that. Um, they get the ball to the playmakers. Um, he does a real good job, you know, in goal line. Uh, so so that's one thing. Um, you know, he's not going to throw the ball to us, obviously. So uh, you know, he, he uh, you know one thing I see in, in a quarterback is. Um, he, he puts the ball in the money. Um, he can run it a little bit, so uh, we're gonna have to get after him. Usually, you see a kicker and the one bar face mask that has an outcast. You know, big tough guys in the team. You know, so it looks like Zane's kind of a leader on this team. How yes, sir. Have you been able to, you know, kind of assume that responsibility? Oh, I mean, Zane is Zane is an awesome guy. Um, he's one of those. He's one of those, you know, quiet leaders. Um, he leads by example. Um, doesn't really talk a whole bunch, uh, but when he talks, um, you know we we listen. Uh, he's a guy. He's a guy that he's a guy that does everything that you know you ask him to do. Uh, everything that you ask him to do, you tell him to step up, make this big kick, uh, and win the game. He's, we expect him to, to make it. He's and, and he expects himself to make it. Uh, he's one of those guys who's just a quiet leader, just does everything that you know the coaches ask him to do, um, and it's there for for his players um, yeah, mentally all the time. Uh, He's, he's just a great guy. Kevin Walsh and Devon Richards, two guys that like to run through people. Yes, sir. What would you do? Or maybe you're doing in practice. What do you do to try and tackle those guys? Oh man, uh, you know that's that's funny. That's funny. That's uh, that's the question because actually, um, uh, D. Rich, uh, Mario Richard, he's actually the hardest guy I've ever had to tackle. So low, real, real, real low. He's like a bowling ball. He likes to run through people. Kalen does as well. Um, some tough runners. Uh, that's why I love them. I love those guys. They're tough runners. But I mean, you know, you got to get your pads behind you, and you got to brace up for the hit. Uh, you got to deliver the blow. That's that's how my mentality is. Um, you know, every hit is. You know, you want to be the guy. You know, delivering the blow. Coach Coach uh, Slocum says this all the time. And next time y'all see Coach Slocum, say, "Are you the hammer or the nail?" That's that's what he says. You're gonna be the hammer or the nail. Because if, if uh, you know, you're not the hammer, you will get nailed. <laughs> so, have those guys made you the nail? Or do you want to admit that? Oh, no, nah, I mean, I've never been made the nail. Uh, but, but it can happen if, you're not, if you don't get your pads, you know, if you don't get your pads in, uh, behind you and you're not ready to come up with, with a hit, then, then you will be the nail. Thank you. Appreciate you.